think we can't come back. It's too far down the line. It, it's not. Uh, if we don't win this election, it is. I don't think it can ever come back. It's never going to come back. It's too much, too much. But we have tremendous people in the country, tremendous spirit. As I said, it's the greatest spirit I've ever seen. And I've down to it. This is my third time. I'm going to have to win it three times. Three times. But we're going to turn it around. And we will cancel Biden's work permits for illegals and protect American jobs for American workers. We will immediately end Biden's war on American energy, and we will end his inflation catastrophe, and we will drill, baby, drill, right? You know, I, I gotta, I gotta interrupt. You know, the fake news will say, oh, he goes from subject to, no, that's, you have to be very smart to do that. Uh, you got to be very smart. It's called, you know what it is? It's called spot checking. You're thinking about something when you're talking about something else, pop, 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 and then you get back to the original, and they go, holy shit, did you see what he did? That's something. It's called, it's called intelligence. But, so I have a problem. Because we get so much television coverage, and look at the size. There's never been rallies like this. You know, we get, I had 100,000, 105,000 people, depending. If we wanted a much bigger room than this, this is the biggest room you could get. We didn't want to have rain on you. We have a lot of people outside that wanted to get in, but we have, but every place is, is packed. The problem is, I've got front row Joes over here. And I've got the most beautiful women in the world, in my opinion, from North Carolina. These. These 40 incredible women, and they come to so many shows. They're up to 117. I won't even tell you how many front row. Front row Joe's like up to close to 200. And here's the problem. I feel I have an obligation to the super fans. So, Marjorie, I have to make different speeches all the time. Do you ever notice they're never really the same? And to do that, you have to be very smart, and you have to have a great imagination for putting the right stuff in. Now, a lot of politicians, I know a politician, he's a good politician, he's made the same exact speech word for word for, I would say, a good 10 years. He goes into a room, ba, 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 ba. He can't get himself into any trouble. You know people like that, Jim? Yes. He's saying I have too many, most of them. But we have, to, we have to give a little action for these people, so we're telling you some stories tonight because we have to do that. But they'll say, Oh, he was wondering. He must be cognitively imbalanced. No, I'd like to see these guys do it. Let's do a little IQ test. Let's do an IQ test. And by the way, and I said it before, but officially, for the good of our nation, it is time for Crooked Joe Biden and myself to debate. We have to debate. It's for the good of our nation. I say that for another reason, because I saw in the Washington Post today, the Washington Post, oh, what a terrible paper. The good news, it's losing so much money that even a rich person isn't that stupid that they're going to keep it going. But the Washington Post, some real lightweight journalist, quote, journalist, said, Biden wants to debate Trump, but Trump is not available. He doesn't want to do it. Can you believe this? So officially to you, Washington Post, and you know the reporter I'm talking about, they make it up. They say, Biden wants to debate me. Oh, he just wants to do it, but I don't want to do it. No, no, just the opposite, as he knows. These are very dishonest people. They're so bad for our country. I want to debate Biden because I think it's important for the American people to hear what's going on and how can you destroy our country like you're doing it. So officially, I want to debate Crooked Joe Biden. Anytime, anywhere, any place, I'll debate.